Okay, so I said I was gonna do a video like this for a while now, and I think I'm ready to do it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a video on what it's like working at McDonald's. Bing. Um, so I mean, let's start at the beginning. I got hired in August 2000 of 17. I think um and so far i've been working at mcdonald's for a year and some months now so as far as i know there's like five levels to the mcdonald's um like um hiring ring i guess so you start as an employee like a regular employee um a, what they call a crew member and then you go up to um uh shoot. you go up to a crew trainer and then after crew trainer you go to manager a shift manager and then after shift manager you go to department manager and after department manager you could be like um like a tech person or um a general manager or whatever who owns the whole store um so uh in order to move up in the McDonald's world, you <laughs> um, you have to like it has to take time, and you gotta show the people around you that you are willing to learn, and that you can um, you know you can do the things that you need to do. And um, I mean, and, and it's always good to network, really, like in things like that, because um, you know if you make friends with like a you know manager or something like that i mean you're probably more likely to be um promoted in these things and um um so so yeah um i became a manager after almost like a year and i became a manager probably after like seven months which is i mean it was whatever i just was promoted from crow crew to um manager and i skipped the whole like crew trainer phase and or crew trainer thing or whatever so that's like the that's like the hiring side that's the ranking side i mean once you're once you're um like on your first day it's gonna be very it's gonna be very confusing it's gonna be very um well for me my first day i was basically on fries the whole day and that's when you make fries for like everyone that needs fries in the store like um ooh, that was bad. anyway you make fries for like the happy meals that are needed in the front counter and the drive through and basically there's two parts of inside the store well there's three parts inside the store there's the front counter there's the drive through and then there's the kitchen and those are the three aspects that are probably like that's where everyone works um so basically you have to do one of those things you have to be in the kitchen you have to be in the drive through you have to be in the front counter and um being a fry person means that you're kind of being drive through and front counter because you're just you're, you're making fries like we have large medium small fry size bags and then you just fill them up with rice and um i think i was like i was doing that for almost a week which is rare because they usually like train you in the front counter and stuff like that so but they, they had no one to train me i guess and i was on fries for like a whole week um so then once you're done with fries you either usually go to front counter um and the front counter is where you start taking orders and um you start dealing with like really shitty people basically and uh, <laughs> um yeah and so that's probably the it's probably the the downhill for me in front counter like i mean like looking back at it i, mean, I guess it wasn't a bad job but you just have to be very nice to people you have to um you know in order to just like not get into fights with people because i live in you know i live in san bernardino so i um fight with people regularly i would say and um and recently i've stopped that because i uh I just learned that you don't, you shouldn't fight with people or you shouldn't just, you know, fight with people at your, at McDonald's because that looks stupid on your part. So I just, I let it happen. I used to fight all the time though. And then 
the first couple times when I first started, I would like cry after I fought people because I was just like, this is a new experience um, and people are yelling at me and they're allowed to. And then, so yeah. Um, then after the, after the front counter, you would move to the drive through and probably presenting, which is that, which is where like you get your food um, when you come to the drive through um, and then that's like a really easy job. I mean, you still deal with shitty people there. Like some people would be like, oh, my soda doesn't taste right. And then, you know, or something like that. I mean, I've had people throw food at me, you know, in the drive through window. So I feel like any place you put, you're basically going to have some like kind of confrontation with somebody. But the key is just to not just to not participate in it um and then after the drive through you learn how to do the back and that's basically taking orders and taking money at the same time you have a headset on and then you talk to people that come to the speaker and then you cash out people that um you whose order you've already taken and you usually have to like repeat your order or something like that you know for accuracy and um yeah, and then after the, that part, I think that a lot of people go into the kitchen, which is like, the kitchen is a weird thing for um, McDonald's, I guess, because like, um, some people get put straight into the kitchen. Like, it's usually guys um, who get just thrown into the kitchen first. And then some people, you have to like, learn everything before you go into the kitchen. And I think, um, I think being in the kitchen is probably the best thing to do if you don't like dealing with people because you don't deal with people. Um, you watch everyone else get like dealing with people from your little kitchen window and you're just like, mm, that's not me. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, and in the kitchen, there's there's three roles, I guess, to kitchen. There's um, the we have it it's called the initiator who like puts the buns in the toaster and then they put the ketchup mustard onions pickles cheese or whatever needs to be on the sandwich and then we have the person who's on table who um puts the like meat or the chicken onto the product after the initiator like is done with it and then wraps it up and then throws it to the um throws it to the little tray where other people can get the food so it can be dispersed into the drive through or the front counter and then then we have the person who's on grill who makes the food like on actually on the grills like the, you know the meat and then the chicken and the chicken strips the you know anything that needs to be cooked basically they'll cook it so those are the three parts of the mcdonald's um kitchen rolls so now with that being said let me tell you guys after i told you guys about the whole the whole roles i mean the kind of roles that we have at mcdonald's that there is at mcdonald's i have to tell you guys about like the not so good parts about being working there i mean and then i mean and i'll tell you the good parts too um so well let me start with the good parts the good part is that um you know you meet a lot of good people working there you meet a lot of good people at mcdonald's and you know you you learn to be very close with these people because you spend a lot of your time with them especially with me who i work i mean i work like 40 hours a week maybe more sometimes and so you learn to like you know be very close with these people and then you do learn like basic like you know kitchen stuff and like grill grill stuff and like kind of food safety stuff which i think is really cool and you know you and it's nice to have like a leadership role it was my first job in general but it was like the first time where i ever experienced like having to be in control of some people i would say those are the positive aspects of it mostly and the negative aspects are the constant i i would say the negative aspects is probably two things so you work a lot with these people which is a good thing but it can also be a bad thing in some situations um 
because you know you fight a lot with the co-workers that you have around you well I mean I mean I did I fought with like every other manager that was there because I would have like we were, we're all stubborn people with all these managers like coming together there's bound to be some like fights or whatever especially when there's a lot of stress and like you know we're just gonna whip we're just gonna lash out at people and that's happened to me a lot of times and I've done that a lot of times so I guess that's a bad part of it and then the second bad part is I mean probably the customers like our they you know they assume because you work at a fast food restaurant that you're stupid like they assume that you have zero brain cells I mean for the most part they're right you know when they talk about me but you know there's other there's other smart people I work with people will get riled up if you get their order wrong and which I understand that's what they paid for um but they'll come into the store like with their freaking food in their hand and be like this isn't right I need this change right now and then I'm sitting there like okay well what's what's wrong with your order like how can, <laughs> how can I fix that for you and then I don't know they they just like they assume that you're gonna be dumb and so they treat you like shit and that's gotten me in a lot of fights with people i mean i've had like like i said like sodas drunk thrown at me fries thrown at me a hash brown thrown at me so you know it's what else what else was thrown at me i feel like barbecue was thrown at me one time i don't know i lost count being a bad bitch that i am not letting anything affect me but um I mean, there's different little instances, like I said, where that has happened. Yeah. I mean, I like one time this customer came up to me and he was like, like he started videotaping me, and because I was apparently I was being rude to him. When I mean, he just made me very uncomfortable in the first place when he started like, just like I forgot what happened, you know. And that's what that's the thing. Like I don't want to like place blame on anyone, or I don't want to make myself seem like the victim. But basically what I remember is that he started video recording me and that's when I felt very, I felt attacked because like, you know, we're in a public space, which I know, I mean, you can record me, but I just felt like it was inappropriate. I mean, you can't film inside McDonald's like in the first place. So, um, yeah. And then just the fact that it was like, you know, pinpointed, pinpointed towards me and he was like taunting me, like, go ahead and laugh like you were with the, you know with the camera recording me he was like go ahead laugh like you were just a few seconds ago and i was just like ah you know it it, it, it didn't feel like a good spot and since i'm a manager or whatever like i have to be like i have to be i mean set an example and that's and it just puts me in a weird spot but i mean each, each like i said each of these like instances have um resolved itself and a lot of people have like there have been people that have threatened to wait for me outside of work and you know I wait I wait outside of work and they're not there so I think it's just a lot a lot of times the fights at McDonald's are people misplacing their anger I mean I'm talking about managers and um, customers like it's just a lot of misplaced anger and they're taking it out on everyone else and I think that's a metaphor for life or something like that like you know people just get angry and then they um throw a hash brown at you or something like that but yeah the hash brown incident was really crazy though because this one lady was like um like I had to make this hash brown fresh for her son and I guess like I did the wrong thing and when I put the hash brown down to be in the fryer um you know I let it fry and then I picked it up and then I clamped onto it too hard I guess and it broke but I was like I'm just gonna put the two pieces in the bag and just hope she doesn't you know hope she doesn't notice and then um so she looked into the when I gave her her food she looked into the bag and then she was like my son or my nephew or my grandson is not gonna eat this this is crap blah 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 and um like she threw it at me and I was just like oh so do you want me to make you another one ma'am but that, I guess that was the last time I really like tried to be nice to any customers because that was literally the last time where I 
accepted someone throwing something at me after that i was just a huge bitch afterwards and but you know as of 2018 the ending of 2018 i've realized that it's not worth it to fight anymore and that i should just take a deep breath and just let people get out all their anger and this video has been long and the police are coming so i think it's time for me to go um I feel like I'm missing a lot of things, and if you guys have any questions, I guess you could leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to address them um, when I can. Um, but yeah, as for 2019, I hope I'm making a little bit, like making more videos and just like showing you guys my life a little bit more. And um, so I'm excited to do that. I have to go into work at. 11 30 and i don't know what time it is so um i'm gonna check the time now um it was nice talking to you guys and you know like comment and subscribe to me alicia and i will see you guys later Boop.